Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 4 of season 3 2022 in the GT4 Falcon Tire Fixed Challenge. Once again with me driving the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. This week's circuit is Canadian Tire and the date and time is set to the 9th of July 2022 at quarter past 3 in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out on the season 3 PDF. All circuit guides are using the fixed setup, so it's a sprint setup for this one. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an offboard lap. And as usual, these laps are filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. But let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this. Actually quite tricky, but nice and fun, small circuit. So here we go then on the main straight, getting ready for the fast right-hander of turn one. And just after the Michelin board, you're going to look for that second telephone pole on the left. And you're going to break just slightly before it. You'll be in fifth and it's going to be an ever so slight break. Keep it in fifth, get it turned in and then just feather the throttle before you can feel comfortable enough to go flat out without running off on the exit. Get back over to the right-hand side. You can see there's just a slight break to get the nose in for turn two. There's no real marker for that, but you want to hold it tight to this left-hander all the way down the hill and be able to accelerate out. Your next braking zone, though, the first full braking zone really is that board on the left hand side harder the brakes downshift to fourth a nice wide entry into this corner and you can see nice and early on the throttle and just hope that the car sticks on the exit as you bring it out to the edge of the circuit back up into fifth and over to the right hand side and then it's flat out down this next left hander but Look closely as the curb ends on the left. That's where we're going to start lifting off the throttle. And our braking zone is just a little bit further ahead as we go into the dip. You can see we started lifting off hard on the brakes now from fifth down into third with your aim to hit this first apex. Trail braking in now because you need the car to turn. Coast in mid corner. Put that steering lock more on now that the car's got more grip because you want to hit that second apex. But you also want to accelerate through that second apex. Use a little bit of the curb on the exit. Do not hit that inside curb. If you bounce over the inside curb, you're going to completely ruin your run. Don't accelerate too early because you bounce over the exit curb too much, you're going to ruin your run. It's a really tricky corner to get right, but once you do, you'll know it because it feels great. You've got a nice long straight now as well. That's why it's important to get the best exit you can out that corner. Big overtaking zone here uh, into a fast right-hander. Second to last telephone pole, just ever so slightly before it as we're passing it. You're going to dab the brakes and you're actually going to keep it in fifth. We'll slow this down. You can see trail braking in. Your aim here, I've understeered a little bit, but you want to keep it to the right-hander side all the way round. Downshift to fourth mid corner. Hold it tight to the right hand side curb before you start accelerating again. You're then going to dab the brakes one more time, keeping it in fourth to get it turned into this left hander, holding it tight to the left hand curb and accelerating out before the last braking zone, which is those, those Audi signs on the wall on the left, where you're going to dab the brakes again in third gear and then chuck it into the apex and accelerate out. We're careful of the rear end though, as you can see we've got a little bit of snap of oversteer and then we cross the line. Uh, to finish our lap round, Canadian tyre for a 123.2. Now let's do the same thing, full speed, uninterrupted. Second to last telephone pole, there it is. Dab the brakes in fifth, keep it turning, coasting down before we feel comfortable enough to accelerate out towards the left-hand side. Get back over to the right, and just as we come over the brow of the hill, tap the brakes, keep it in fifth, and now coast in, holding it tight to the left-hand side, all the way down this left-hander. Now we're accelerating through, get back over to the left, look for the board, hard on the brakes, down to fourth, coast in. Late apex, accelerate out all the way over to the left-hand side. You can see there, trying to keep the rear end in check. Get back over to the right now in fifth gear. And you want to try and take this flat, maybe with a small lift as you come down this left-hander. As the curb ends, lift off, hard on the brakes as you go down into the dip, into third. Hit the first apex, trail breaking in, full lock right. Hit that second apex, accelerating out in third gear. Second, the car is slightly too unstable. And I'm pretty sure every time I did it in third, I got a better run out of the corner, which is important because now we've got a long, flat out straight whether you can weave to break break strip slipstream you need that slipstream to get the pass done potentially into this fast right hander and the race will continue through this right left right section uh second to last telephone pole dab the brakes keep it in fifth hold it tight careful of the understeer down to fourth keep it on that right hand side dab, dab the brakes again in fourth hold it to the left look for the audi sign on the left dab the brakes again down to third hit the apex and accelerate out careful of the rear end. If you put the accelerator on too much, you might spin there or just have a nice little drift around the final corner. And that is a lap of Canadian Tire. As usual, that is pretty much it from me. I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in. They really do mean a lot. And thank you once again uh, for those of you that have subscribed. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. We were aiming for 10K by the end of the year, and I think we've already passed 6,500, which is absolutely amazing, and I appreciate uh, every single one of you and thank you for keep watching these guides. I'm glad they are helping uh, As usual, that's pretty much it for me If I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on the racing line. Peace